Ventilator associated pneumonia, VAP, is a serious and potentially life threatening infection that occurs in patients receiving mechanical ventilation in the hospital setting. It is a common healthcare associated infection and poses a significant challenge for healthcare providers. This presentation aims to raise awareness about VAP, its risk factors, consequences, and most importantly, the preventive strategies and best practices to reduce its incidence. VAP is a form of pneumonia that develops in patients who are on mechanical ventilators for an extended period. The ventilator tube can facilitate the entry of bacteria into the lungs, leading to infection. VAP typically occurs 48 hours or more after the initiation of mechanical ventilation. VAP has severe implications for patients and healthcare systems. It prolongs hospital stays, increases the need for intensive care, and escalates healthcare costs. Patients who develop VAP are at a higher risk of morbidity and mortality, particularly in critically ill or immunocompromised individuals. Additionally, VAP contributes to the emergence of antibiotic resistance, making treatment more challenging for other infections. Several risk factors contribute to the development of VAP. Preventing VAP requires a comprehensive approach. Implementing a ventilator bundle, which includes evidence-based interventions, is essential. This bundle comprises elevating the head of the bed, daily, sedation vacations, to assess readiness for extubation, peptic ulcer disease, PUD, prophylaxis, and deep vein thrombosis, DVT, prophylaxis. Maintaining proper oral hygiene is crucial in preventing VAP. Regularly cleaning the patient's mouth, teeth, and gums can reduce the colonization of harmful bacteria that may be aspirated into the lungs. Strict adherence to hand hygiene protocols by healthcare providers is essential in reducing the risk of transmitting bacteria to ventilated patients. Regularly changing ventilator circuits and filters can help minimize the accumulation of bacteria and prevent cross-contamination. Using closed suctioning systems and employing sterile techniques during suctioning can reduce the risk of introducing pathogens into the airway. Encouraging early mobilization and turning of patients can help prevent lung complications and decrease the duration of mechanical ventilation, thereby reducing the risk of VAP. In conclusion, VAP is a significant healthcare challenge that requires a proactive and multifaceted approach to prevention. By implementing ventilator bundles, maintaining proper oral care, emphasizing hand hygiene, and employing other preventive strategies, healthcare providers can significantly reduce the incidence of VAP. Preventing VAP not only improves patient outcomes but also helps in preserving the effectiveness of antibiotics and optimizing healthcare resources. As healthcare professionals, it is our responsibility to prioritize infection prevention and patient safety to create a safer environment for all ventilated patients.